Hi guys, I have another Copic coloring and card tutorial for you today. Today we are coloring a Broska's Cupcake by Little Miss Muffet Stamps. She is a, a digital stamp, uh, so it's just download and start coloring. Don't have to wait for the post to deliver her. She's an adorable little frog. I uh, actually have a whole bunch of different images uh, that I have stamped out to color and today I looked through them and I found three different ones and I actually colored all of them and this is the one that I ended up using because they didn't turn out the way I wanted. Uh, I have been very creative all day and I kind of felt when I sat down to color this that I was all created out but I wasn't because then I found the frog and she kind of made my uh, inspiration come to life again so that I could color her. She's not gonna have a background, I'm gonna make one of my usual cards with her today which is just coloring the character and then matching her with some papers and making a little card. Uh, when it comes to the coloring it's what I would call a pretty basic coloring. I'm just making sure that she has the shadows where I want them and um, thinking about the shadows exactly how I would think when I color a human except for the eyes as they are kind of bulging I added small shadows underneath so that part is pretty simple the dress is a very straight dress and I'm actually keeping it very straight I am not um, making any extra folds in it or anything you could actually do pretty much several different things with it but I ended up making it just sitting on straight hanging on her. The pinks are my absolute favorite pink combination which are the RVs. Um, they don't have that really really bright pink they're a little bit muted um, but still really really strong almost towards the neon but not completely there. For all the whites I'm using the natural grays uh, because they are they fitted with this image and actually fitted very good with the papers that I chose to use afterwards so um, I try to get the same warmth from the colors into my grays. Today I'm just uh, cutting him her her out very simply just uh, trying to add about the same uh, of the white. I have found a white which suits me or the amount of white that suits me but if you actually look closely to my images it's not perfectly cut. <laughs> uh, it's uh, thinner at places and thicker at other places um, but uh, if you don't look closely it looks pretty okay. I use my Martha Stewart uh, knife to cut out because I really like the handle is actually very comfortable cutting with that knife and I have a pretty new cutting blade for that. And now for uh, making the card. Uh, I cut the uh, mat to f 5 and 3 eighths by 4 and an eighth. And then I'm actually cutting another strip from that 5 and 3 eighths paper. It's going to mat this strip of paper that I found in my stash. So it's going to be 2 and a quarter. The pattern papers I'm using today is Doodlebugs Love Bug pattern papers. I thought they fitted perfectly. I actually chose the color first and the papers later. Um, and I just happened to have papers that fitted pretty good with the image. I'm using uh, my Martha Stewart scoring board to make my A2 card base. It's scored at four and a quarter. It's four. Uh, yeah, it's eight and a half by five and a half um, piece of paper that I scored. And then I am going to layer everything with my Craft Companion uh, tape runner. Uh, I really like that tape runner. I wish they had refills, but they don't. But they are very, very cheap, the, um, the tape runner. So they might not be able to make the... Maybe. 
you can take them apart, but it's pretty hard to put them together, but it is possible. I have done so when one of my broke. Um, yeah, they're, they're really good. I'm just layering all my papers uh, pretty much how I usually do it. And then I had some issues with trying to choose a sentiment. I actually ended up using one of the cards from the Love Bug pa Pattern Paper Pack. Here you see I'm, I'm actually starting to run tape on this, realizing that that mat is actually 1 16th of an inch too big. So I'm actually, before I'm taping it together, I'm actually gonna remove 1 16th of an inch to make it um, layer better. So I'm cutting it at a 3 and a 16th. Because I cut that um, a little bit short, it's supposed to be 3 inches by 2 inches. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna use that little square because I thought it would fit perfectly with the little character and it actually framed really good how the size I had printed that little uh, frog out on and it f this wasn't what I had planned when I printed her out because I had had it printed for some days at least um, but yeah and then I added some 3M scotch tape uh, underneath her in all of the little pieces so she is very good put down and that is the card for today i hope you liked it if you do please thumbs it up it means a lot to me if you have any questions just comment down below and i'll talk to you later bye